Stop wasting all of your Herba Mystica in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. I've got a new method that will allow you to infinitely use Herba Mystica for Sparkling Sandwich absolutely free so that you guys can catch your favorite shiny Pokemon easier. Yes! Yes! All thanks to some free Herba Mystica. Oh, that's so good. That makes shiny hunting so much more easier now that you don't have to grind at all for any five star or six star raids in order to get these pitiful drop rates of Herba Mystica. This is awesome. That's my shiny Rotom and I'm so excited for it. Welcome back everyone, it's Abdali here with another awesome Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet tips and tricks tutorial video. This video is going to be the absolute best video as far as shiny hunting goes, simply because we now have a method that we can use an infinite amount of Herba Mystica without wasting them. That means that if you have two, you can now host picnics for everyone to freeload off of the easy 30 minute sparkling sandwich encounters and titles and all of that stuff for free. It's gonna be so good. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and thank you so much for all of you guys that are on board with subscribing. Help us out on our goal for 1 million subscribers. We got tons of tips and tricks tutorial videos. So if you didn't already watch the shiny hunting guide, that's going to be linked in the description and definitely give that a watch so you guys understand exactly about the outbreak methods, about all of the different shiny odds and much more. All right, so let's start off this tutorial by giving uh, credit where credit is due. Shout outs to Papa Hefe for doing a lot Lot of work with all of the shiny hunting recipes with all of the sandwiches so as you can see there's so many different ingredients out there um, he's gonna be on screen right over here so make sure that you guys go check him out uh, and I wanted to put this to the test this is going to be a very good infographic so I'll put the infographic on screen right now so that you guys can use that in order to find even more sandwiches literally right now do a screenshot of this and put it as your home screen background because this infographic is so well made and i've tested them all out and they're legit so anyway that's that shout outs to papa jefe for that let's jump in and show you exactly what the method is all right let's teach you how to get infinite herba mystica in four easy steps our first step is actually obtaining two Herba Mystica. They can be any of the varieties. Now you're gonna do that by simply going to any of these five or six star raid battles. You can challenge them online or with some friends, or if you're good enough, you can do them solo. Now, as you do this, you're going to get a small percentage chance of a drop of the Herba Mystica. So if you take a look at your picnic items in the bag, you may already have some of them. All you need are two of any variety. Right over here, I've got two salty, three bitter, and then six spicy, just from doing raids. So that's your first step. It may be a little hard, but I believe in you guys, you can do it. You can access five and six star games a little bit later on after you beat the main story, and you can just join anyone's group. So honestly, it's not locked to anything. All right, our second step of our tutorial is heading on over to Lavincia. What we wanna do in Lavincia is do a shopping spree for ingredients. Because what we're gonna be doing in this tutorial is making sandwiches that give the sparkling power that give you a 30 minute boost for shiny odds. That's gonna be amazing. So, uh, Lavincia is home to all of the different areas where you can go shopping. You can go to Shurkans, you can go to the Akista supermarket, you can head on over to Delhi, you can go over to the Artisan Bakery as well. All of these areas will house all the different ingredients that you're going to need for sandwiches. But the main ingredients for sandwiches are going to be bell peppers and some of the prosciutto, and uh, some different proteins along the way. So anyway, you can see over here, what I like to do is I like to have five to 10 of each of these guys, just so that we're all on the same page of every single one of these. Um, inside this specific spot, you can get uh, the tofu exclusively, and you can also get the cloth stick exclusively as well. So buy some of these and you'll be all set and ready to go for this tutorial. Buying the cloth sticks are pretty expensive, but anyway, spend all your money on, greedy, on ingredients, you'll be set mainly the different colored bell peppers. Okay, so now here comes the fun part. All you have to do is open up a poke portal and a union square. This one's going to be pretty interesting. So union circle, that's exactly what it's called. So we're gonna form a group. Um, if you want to form a group online, before you press the A button, you can press the L button over here. By pressing the L button, you're going to go online and then have a code that you can give to any of your friends. Now this method is going to work with all of 
the entire group. You can do four people, uh, which is great. So anyway, uh, I'm going to be doing the local mode right now. And since I'm in local, I've got a code right over here, which is 0050. So the local code of 0050, I'm going to put that into my other Nintendo Switch. And we're going to join it accordingly. Like I said earlier, you can do this with up to four people. And it's going to be so simple. Infinite Herba Mystica, you guys are all set. And I'm going to do this uncut so that you guys don't uh, think that there's any editing or anything along those lines. So it's going to be very easy. And the host is really going to be giving the buffs to everyone besides themselves. So the host needs to have the two Herba Mystica, while everyone else just needs a couple ingredients here and there. Okay, so we've added everyone over here. We've teleported to a random area in the map and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take a couple steps over here and I'm going to start a picnic. While I'm starting a picnic we're going to take a couple steps with our other character and we're going to come right over to um, the host right over here. You can see hi it's me. All right so now what the host has to do is head on over here and then just start to make a sandwich. Now it'll say you have one out of one members so that means that what you have to do is go over with your other character whoever player two is and then start to make a picnic and click on your table to make a sandwich as well. Now, by doing so, you're going to have two members of your group joining in. And on the host section, all you have to do is press the A button to let's get cooking. Now, here's where things get pretty interesting. Um, now, with this, all, there's a lot of different infographics on the internet right now that showcase all sorts of different recipes. Uh, this one is going to be the best one that I've found. Uh, this one's uh, courtesy of Papa Jefe, so if you haven't already checked him out, please do so. There's going to be a very easy way of using just any of the two Herba Mystica and just a bunch of little ingredients. So since I'm looking for the... Yeah, I'm looking for an electric type right now because I've got some Rotom on screen. So I want to go find some electric Pokemon. The electric recipe calls for two main ingredients of yellow pepper. It also calls, uh, calls for onion, prosciutto, green, and red pepper. So that's pretty simple. Watch. We're going to do two yellow bell pepper for electric. I'm going to do onion. I'm going to do prosciutto. And then since it requires green and red pepper, I'm gonna leave the red pepper out simply because the other players in our entire group have to contribute some sort of ingredient. They just can't stand there. So anyway, uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave the space for red pepper. I'm gonna click on plus for next. And then with player two over here, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Click on X for creative mode. I'm just gonna throw in a red bell pepper, done. Uh, and then click on next. Now over here is going to be the interesting part. I said earlier, you only need two of any of the Herba Mystica. As you can see over here, we have the numbers of two, three, and six of any of them. So let's just use two of these. Um, what are they? These are the spicy Herba Mystica. Cool. We'll do that. Um, and then we'll click on next. Uh, likewise, any of the picks doesn't even matter. We're just going to use a gold pick and call it a day. Now, when it comes to a condiment for player two or the rest of the team, honestly, it doesn't matter um, because the ingredients that are over here, the main ingredients are going to overpower whatever this offers. So I like to choose butter because I've got a lot of it and we're just going to click on next. So that's it. So we used our entire recipe according to this chart and we're going to make this sandwich. Now, one of the hosts can absolutely just make this sandwich on their own. I would honestly recommend doing that simply because if you have all these people that want to help out with like prosciutto and balancing all these different peppers, I think it's going to be a bad idea because sometimes the peppers won't line up. Sometimes you're going to essentially um, drop them. You don't want to do that. So literally have the host just make the sandwich so that you're all set. Now this one has a lot of yellow peppers in it simply because that will outweigh all the different other flavors and it'll allow for the electric type to happen. So anyway, we got some red peppers over here. Okay. Lots of peppers. Here we go. Done. That's a lot. Now we really only have three onion. We could put that literally anywhere. Doesn't even matter. One, two, and three. Cool. That's all of them. Throw away the bun and then put on the uh, the little pick. Honestly, you don't have to throw away the bun, but um, it just removes it. You can make it an open face sandwich and it'll still count. So here is going to be our next step. This is our step four. Remember, um, the first step was starting off getting the raids and getting your Herba Mystica. Our second step is going shopping. Our third step is hosting a picnic. Fourth step is right over here and you're going to take a look at it. 
So the host is now going to make the sandwich. You can press the A button, and by pressing the A button, you're going to eat this sandwich, and you're going to show exactly what the ingredients are that uh, everyone gets. Yeah, now here we go. We're gonna get the sparkling power electric, we're gonna get the title power electric, and we're also gonna get the encounter power electric. So here we go, right on the screen. Uh, one, two, and three. As you can see in the top corner, sparkling power electric, tidal power electric, and counter electric. So then, once you have all of those, simply close your game. Super easy. Just close your game and you're all set and ready to go. So now the host loses all of the ingredients that they used for that session, but they didn't permanently use them. Or lose them, I'm sorry. You didn't permanently lose them because... It was just for that session over there. And since the game didn't save, it's not saying that they took out the Herba Mystica out of your inventory. So we are all set. Now, all of the guests that are over here for the picnic will have the sparkling power and everything involved with that. But what I want to do right now is I want to log into this main file over here, or the host file, and show you guys our numbers of 236 for those Herba Mystica, just so that you guys understand that you don't lose anything because the game didn't save. So anyway, let's jump into that and show you that there's no camera tricks, there's no editing or anything like that. You're all ready to go. It is done. You're all set, ready to do this, and you can do this infinitely. All right, so anyway, we're over here back in Lavincia. This is where I started. Uh, I think I started my picnic over here. But anyway, go to bag. Go over to other items, and you can see over here, Salty Herba Mystica 2, 3, and 6. We are all set and ready to go. So absolutely love that. So now that this save file um, you know, is restored to before they even started that picnic, we're going to show you guys exactly what happens with the other save file, just to show you how that works out. So anyway, we're doing this live right over here. No cuts, no edits, nothing like that. Uh, this is the sandwich that we made. I paired my controller so that I can have uh, control over this. We're going to press the A button. Here we go. Cool sandwich, huh? So this was the sandwich that we made from the previous one. Now, I'm excited for this because we just have to eat it. And on this specific Nintendo Switch, I've got some pretty cool outbreaks that could use the electric typing. Um, so simply put, you just find whatever sandwiches you want to make using the chart, and then you're all golden and ready to go. So anyway, right over here, sparkling power electric, tidal power electric, encounter power electric, all set and ready. So now if you press the um, if you press the right direction on the D-pad, you can see in the bottom corner, I've got 29 minutes right now, literally 30 minutes, to go through and get some shining Pokemon. So uh, I saw that on my radar over here, we got some really fun uh, shiny Pokemon over in this area here. I've got a Rotom outbreak, absolutely. So we're going to fly over in this uh, general direction. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this 30 minutes in order to get as many shiny Rotom as possible in the easiest way possible. Simply because I have the, um, I've got the shiny charm and I've got this encounter power and it's nighttime and things are going to be a lot easier. So anyway, here goes some Rotom. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to stick around and I'm going to attempt to find myself a shiny Rotom. It's going to be a great time. But anyway... Uh, yeah, that's exactly the method. You can do this infinitely as many times as you want in order to get whatever shiny Pokemon you want. Uh, of course, you're not going to instantaneously get the shiny Pokemon. You do have to do the legwork of um, moving around and attempting to find all these Pokemon. But like I said earlier, this is going to be your best way and fastest way of not wasting any of the hard-earned Herba Mystica. So anyway, uh, give me a couple minutes. I'm going to go find a shiny Rotom and go from there. That's the one. There it is. Yes. Yes. There we go. Okay. So as you can see over here in about eight minutes, uh, in about less than eight minutes, we're able to go through and get this shiny. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Look at this beauty. Yes. Yes. All thanks to some free Herba Mystica. Oh, that's so good. That makes shiny hunting so much more easier now that you don't have to grind at all 
for any five star or six star raids in order to get these pitiful drop rates of Herba Mystica. This is awesome. That's my shiny Rotom and I'm so excited for it. And there you have it, the absolute best way of getting shiny Pokemon in the game. Man, I'm so excited for that. I caught that shiny Rotom, it was so good. Now I have an easy way, since I have two Nintendo Switches and I have uh, another copy of the game with some Herba Mystica on there, whenever I wanna go shiny hunting, I could just get free shiny encounter powers. How great is that? Anyway, hope this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to let me know in the comments and share the video with a friend. We got a lot of people that need to learn about this. So what are you gonna do with this information now? Are you gonna host some shiny picnics for a lot of other people and then just reset? And then hopefully those other people can host some for you? Or do you have two Nintendo Switches with some Herba Mystica on both of them? All you really need is two. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna get back to work on even more tutorials. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh thank you so much for watching and thanks for subscribing we'll see you on the next one take care